Hey guys, this is Skyrix and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we are going to make a tech house track from start to finish. And in the mastering process, we are going to use an online AI mastering tool by Lander, which is the sponsor of this video. We all know that traditional mastering is expensive, complex, and time consuming. Lander solves this by offering professional quality masters at a fraction of the traditional cost with automated mastering process and simple workflow. This tool helps you master your tracks to a professional level instantly. Lander has changed the mastering process with drag and drop simplicity, giving results that rival professional studio work in minutes. Check it out and get 30% discount when you sign up on any plan using the link I have provided below. You can also try the product for free without signing up. So stick until the end of the video to see how it works. Be sure to subscribe and turn on that bell icon so you won't miss any future uploads. Now, without any further ado, let's get started. First, we are going to set our BPM to 125. And then we are going to make our baseline. Tech House mostly uses 909 kick, so we're gonna use one. Now we're gonna add some claps and hi hats. Let's add some percussions as well. Let's add a lead. Now let's try to add some vocal. Move your feet like this, like this. Let's add some more effects. This. Like this. For the build up, let's apply a high pass filter to the kick and bass and automate. Thank you. 
move your feet like this, like this. To make the kick and bass sound good together, I will use shaper box instead of kick start so I can adjust the sidechain manually. This way they will not clash with each other resulting in a much cleaner sound. Now let's work on the final mix before we start the mastering process. Leave a lot of headroom in your mix to achieve a much cleaner result. Like this. Now it's time to master our track using Lander. This will take a few minutes as it will analyze the track, so I'm just gonna skip this part. Now it's complete, we can start the mastering process. With just a few clicks, our track is already mastered. It's simple and straightforward, so you're not gonna be intimidated when using this. Unlike using traditional plugins with a lot of knobs, you can really hear the difference it made with the track and I'm really impressed with this tool. If you're not satisfied with the settings you selected, you can always revise it and it's gonna ask you some question about what you think of the mix and it will automatically adjust your preference. Another option is to use a reference track. Like this. Like this. Like this. this will depend on the track like and the sound that you want to achieve. Like For me, I'm just gonna use this setting. Now let's compare the before and after in FL Studio. Like this. Like this. Like this. 